But yes, yes, I have to get started actually eating, otherwise I will be late for trivia. But, I mean, when am I ever on time? Here we go, my double cheeseburger, and I got two pieces of the jerk chicken. There's a lot of good looking stuff on the line, but you know what, I am not gonna stress about it. I'm just gonna enjoy my burger and then head off to trivia and look forward to dinner. Yeah, and I said this before, but uh, Margaritaville, you might wanna, you know, get one of the guys from Culinary over to the Islander Buffet, because, well, you know what? Okay, you know what, I I'll give you another chance. I'll be there and, well, no promises. And the flying rats, they're all perched in a line, waiting, waiting for their chance. No, not today. Margaritaville, if you would just make this touchless, you would be like vaunted near the top. I mean, I mean, not like Explora 1, but seriously, I'm beyond late. I may have missed trivia, but I don't care. That burger was delicious and the jerk chicken. That was good. Oh boy, yes, they um they ponied up for the uh, the overweight chickens. <laughs> Put it that way. All right. Well, I'm going to see what's going on still, but I'm going to go see if the trivia is still going on. Maybe mooching on a team. Then, I don't know. Uh, after that, I don't know. I'm just winging it. It's a, basically a sea day for me, so uh, whatever. Let's go now. Yep, it's answer for time. Oh, well. Points. One location trivia. Awesome. Doing the scavenger hunt now. I'm not going to... I'm not going to tell you the clues because I don't want you to cheat. I know none of you would actually cheat, but... I know I, you. I know you would. Members of the court, I'm about to break down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I won celebrity head trivia. And my winning question was, does she have a theme park? Yes. <laughs> I won. I won with Dolly. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna... Yes. Well, that just means this week, you know what? Forget Orlando. We gotta go to Dollywood. You all know what this means. I now have irrefutable proof that Margaritaville is spying on me. I don't mind, but I'm just, guys, come on. You know, be a little more subtle, but you know what? It's fine, totally, totally fine. All right, members of the court. Wasn't there a rumor going around, I don't know, uh, not too long ago that somebody wanted to buy this whole area to make a large resort? Was it Margaritaville or was it Marriott that wanted to do that? Because I remember this, building right here was like the focus of that effort. Now, realistically, yes, it would make sense for Margaritaville <laughs> to put a Margaritaville resort right here, but who knows, anybody, anybody could do it. And uh, yeah, we will definitely be back next year. Hint, hint. Well, not, no, not here, like over, over there somewhere. Adios, Grand Bahama. All right, um, actually, I don't know where it is, so I can't point to the construction site, but I, I think it's like right there-ish, either way. All right, well, uh, overnight at, uh, well, a nice leisurely pace as soon as we get uh, clear of the port traffic area, and then I imagine we will resume the normal course of just floating <laughs> most of the night and then making a beeline for West Palm Beach. All right, I, you know what? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get my piece of key lime pie. Mission accomplished. Best part about being single? You don't have to share your bed or your key lime pie. Almost time to get changed over for the evening, but first, pictures. Then we'll change, then go take more pictures. And remember people, check your door. It is bright. All right, so let's go take a couple pictures. Dinner is not for another half an hour or so. Late seating, no worries. And then probably just maybe the show, karaoke, we'll see, but I did not plan this, which is, oh my God, what if they, what if they went through my luggage? Ooh, because yes, after winning with Dolly this afternoon, yes, this was my planned costume. Yes, I, this, I brought this shirt for tonight. There, everything looks in order. Hmm, okay. <gasps> Pietro owes me three drinks. Mm hmm Gotta figure out how to cash them in. Yes, yes, I said I was going to do a dance class one of these days, and I will. I promise, I absolutely, 100% promise. <laughs> yeah, the noobs have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, 
photos done, let's go check the shops, see if there's anything on clearance. Because remember, last time I was here, I got those wood sunglasses for like $9 or something like that. And there's a hat in here that I've seen through the window that I want to look at. Yes, this one. Okay, uh, I guess I can just ugh, grab. Oh, that's nice. Margaritaville. Uh, okay, let's not break the expensive glass figurines. All right, what do we got here? Uh, this is Coconut Creek. Wait, Coconut Coconut Creek? What? A residential neighborhood in Broward? Uh, okay. Maybe not. Let's see, how much is it? 20, 24, oh wow, $25. Not bad. Okay, well you know what? We will, we'll pencil it in. How's that? Oh, geez. However, well, you know what? Should have expected this. Um, well, hold on, oh wait. Uh, no. Well, could I, could I, seriously? It's kind of nice, actually. I have this from Islander, and it, th they also had this on Islander. The thing is, it, it's not like, obviously, Margaritaville. That is probably why I didn't go for it. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, nice, okay. People call these rash guards. I don't think we've ever called them that in Miami. And don't really know where I'll need a hoodie. Actually, you know what? I might need a nice warm hoodie on the North Atlantic in winter. I I don't know why that popped into my head, but you know, I, random thoughts. I have not seen, they don't do junk tables, and I don't think they did one on, I, did they do one on Islander? I don't remember. However, looky here. Okay, nice. Okay, let's see, what do you got? Uh, Margaritaville, all right. Oh, and it's reversible too. Check that out, there you go. Okay, two for one and Look at this one. Let's see. Is it also... Oh, it is. Nice. Oh, and this one is... Mm, for some reason, that seems a little pricey. Like $12. This is cute. I like it. Blew out my flip-flop. Oh, I wonder if it's I wonder if it's on sale. Some of these look familiar. Can you spot them? I noticed this on Islander. Probably commented on it. But there, there is... There, well, actually, there are no tank tops. Wait a minute. There, No, there are none. It's not... Not that they're just not that nice. There's just, there aren't any. Okay, then. Look familiar. Look familiar. And... Uh, okay, I think... All right, I think that's it. Possibilities. I'll come back later, check things out again. Maybe something will catch my eye that I missed. Okay, I was talking to the future cruise lady, and she told me... Oh, no particular reason. And she mentioned that there's a guest on the sailing that is on their about 100th sailing here on Margaritaville Paradise, so yeah, I guess uh, she tickled someone's fancy. All right, we are, oh, that's right. We've stopped again, told you. Fun fact, Margaritaville at sea has managed to replicate the evening dead time. Yes, there is not much going on right now between it's just before seven and 7.45, which is the late seating for dinner. So let's take a peek. Oh, the sundries. Yes, you know what, I promised one of the guests on Explora that I would find her a candy bar and <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yes, I did fail that mitch, mi mission, mission, no, mission, but yes, okay, there's all sorts of like candy type stuff here and uh, okay, I guess that qualifies. Sure, sure. Actually, Snickers, she just wanted a Snickers. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this on board, but like something like this, just a rack of basic stuff. They don't have this on Explorer Journeys. There's no way to get, like, a Tylenol or a Tylenol, an ibuprofen. Abu ibuprofen? Uh, you know, like an ibuprofen. I said it again, didn't I? Or a toothbrush. <laughs> Nothing like that. So I guess they expect you to swim ashore <laughs> to get that stuff. Either way, it's very weird. Pretty standard selection, but no prices. Okay. Well, they have their reasons. Remember, on the inaugural of Margaritaville, I had all that OBC to spend, and... I probably, I think one, two, three, four or five bottles I left with because I, there's nothing else to spend money on. Oh, I did buy a bunch of merch, but yeah, I bought liquor. <laughs> it took me a while to drink it too. Right, that's right, there is another store with even more sundries, Explora. Oh, you know what? We did not check. Okay, here we go. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No, oh, Margaritaville. Why do you, why do you hate coral and fishes? This is terrible. 
Oh my god, okay, you've like lost at least 30 points for this, and it, it's not recoverable. So, you know, shame on you. Shame on you, Margaritaville. All right, pictures came out great, of course, but <laughs> they, there is a all-inclusive digital package, but it is crazy expensive. Like, it's $600, but they'll negotiate down to three, which is absolutely insane. I think on MSC Magnifica, I paid for four days, I think it was $80 plus gratuity, something like that. It was cheap, it was very, very cheap. And let's not forget, all the photos are included in Princess Premiere. So that is definitely something to consider. Royal did, oh, wait a minute. Actually, that's right. Celebrity had a reasonably priced all-inclusive digital package, but they don't advertise it. So I didn't take any pictures. Since we have time to kill, let's go check out the Buffett spread on day three. Maybe this is the extra night. Oh my God. They're doing some four day sailings. What's the menu gonna be on that fourth night? Okay, whoosh. not gonna think about it, not gonna worry about it. Oh no, it is Caribbean night. What am I gonna do? All right, grilled fish, lemon, uh, ooh, alu mutter. Okay, right, yes, this must be it because I think these these look like kind of, not really stopgap, but like new. Vegetarian options, rice, potatoes, carrots, and veggies, random veggies. Rice, grilled vegetables, grilled little sausages, and oh, wow. Red cabbage slaw and coleslaw. Ooh. Lemon chicken. That jerk chicken was really good. And moussaka. Wow. I don't. I don't know if I've ever seen that on a buffet line. Okay. Penne. Oh, paella. Okay. Well, what is in there? It's chicken and sausage. Okay. No, no shrimps or anything. Let's head to Keys on the Water aft of the ship. And yes, uh, pointy end away. Let's, I guess, just doom scroll for a few minutes before dinner while hopefully I still have signal. Night three menu, I checked it out earlier. I think I showed you on the screen. All right, I think we'll go with the salmon tartare and the heart of palm cake. And, ooh boy, it is, it is tough. Wow, the mojo criollo, criollo Cuban stack. Uh, jam steak and the huli huli chicken. Wow, haven't had a good mole in a while. And dessert, mmm, yeah, that's sponge cake. No, I'm still not gonna do it again. I had the brownie, mango cheesecake, and let's find out what the what the dessert of the day is. Oh boy. All right, all right, I gotta make a choice. I could have two. Okay, if I had two, but still I want three. Fun fact, all of the menus are in here, so I decided to peek knowing what to look for, and I don't know if you can see it because it's really small. Hey, no, come on now. Right there, par three, 824. So this is the day three menu. Yes, it's the day three menu, but it's the new menu in the rotation. That's, that's how I interpret it. Fun fact, the bread is the same. Today's second, or maybe third, Margaritaville Paradise pro tip, the Dining room opens at a certain time, so the second scene today was 7.45. I think it was different yesterday. Either way, don't get in the line, don't bother. Just show up five minutes after and you won't wait. You just walk right in because, yeah, there's a long line, but they they don't guide you to the table, really. The line comes in and they just sort of direct the line as it approaches the table. So it's actually really, really quick. And they clear the line in five minutes. So if you show up five minutes later, you actually won't have to wait. I knew this, I, I did know this, but I'm just gonna call it out again because honestly, it's kind of silly. Uh, yes, $7 for additional entrees. Am I pointing it? No, I'm pointing it, there you go. $7 for additional entrees. Be aware. And the bread is not cold. It was regular, it was room temperature the other two nights, but I noticed it today because yesterday at the table next to me, uh, there was a couple that had a pinnacle level fit over the bread not being warmed. So they brought a warm basket, but and that, I hadn't actually noticed it. I don't think I've had warm bread on a cruise ship since um, since pre-scam carnival. They used to deliver warm bread, but I don't think anyone else has. Even even Explora, they didn't they didn't serve warm bread. Huh? Did, they, did I did I comment on that? Somebody go watch all the videos and, and let me know. I will definitely give them credit for caring about plating. All right, this is the salmon tartare. That's salmon tartare. Not much, not much to it. Well, you saw the menu. This 
I did not expect. This is the Heart of Palm cake. I don't know. Okay, cake. I get it now, but I don't know what... Okay, I was expecting something else, and it was basically like a salad, but like... Shake. It's hard to describe, but it, I have the image in my head. Time to say let's try the salmon tartare, but I don't know if this is going to be easy. Well, not with this. But, well, let's try the other one. And it's it's the same. It's, yeah. Now, what are we supposed to do with this? Right, there's always a fork. There you go. Okay, the heart of palm cake is... Mm, wow, it's, it fights back. Okay, uh... Well, here we go. Mm. Winner, winner, the salmon tartare. Great flavor profile, but it kind of felt like they opened up one of those capsules of fish oil supplement and sprinkled that, well, wouldn't sprinkle oil, but like, yeah, that was, it's, it's lurking in there somewhere. That was a bit off, but it didn't make it bad. It's just something I tasted. The heart of palm cake. It is a vegetarian or maybe even vegan crab cake. That is exactly what it is. And it's, it's really good, too. Here is my mojo gorillo and sliced ham, that looks like. that. a little bit weird. But, okay, everything's worked out well so far. And this is the huli huli chicken. All right, like I said, a lot of attention played into, played into, paid, wait, they're plated well. That's what I. That's what I mean. Here we go. Uh, wait, what is this again? The mojo crudo. There we go. It's um. It's um. <laughs> barbecue pulled pork. And now the huli huli chicken. Okay, check that out. Looking good. Winner, winner. Okay, so the, the, what are you, whatever. Uh, barbecue pulled pork, sweet sauce, a little bit of a kick. So most people should be able to handle it. I'm not a huge fan of really sweet barbecue sauce though. So that was the only thing, just a comment, an observation, put it that way. However, the uh, huli huli chicken, that was fantastic. We know where the rest of the fat chicken went. Yes, quite, quite nice. It is not spicy at all, so the mole bit is underplayed a lot, but yes, the rest of it quite good. The pineapple, interesting element, very interesting element, complemented with the mole. Okay, I can see it. Anyway, yes, another uh, very rewarding experience here in the Margarita Bowl Paradise Fins Dining Room. Wow, that's a lot to say. Okay, I guess dessert is next. One of the drawbacks of using the phone for everything is I cannot show you the phone. In this scene, pretend I am showing the clock on the phone that says 9.04, knowing that the show starts at 9.30 and I have to go and get a battery to charge the phone. So see, 9.04, I wanna make the show. Dessert is here. All right, I gotta scarf this down super fast and head off. Yeah, you know why, so let's let's get to it. The third wonderful experience here in the Finn's Dining Room aboard Margaritaville at Sea Paradise. Okay, I said the whole thing that time. I am, okay, I gotta hustle, I gotta go grab a battery and head to the show, although I'm quite sure, I'm sorry, my seat will be there. Oh, real ice cream, yes. And the cake was really good too, not like Cruise Line, oh my God, not like Cruise Line cake at all. Okay, yes. Um, Margaritaville, whoever does the F&B here, you need to hide them, scrub them from social media. Nobody must know about them because they will be poached. I knew everything would work out. I am going to be exactly on time. So yes, things do work out if you just don't, if you just stay whelmed, stay whelmed.
things didn't go perfectly, my seat was taken. I remember you. However, the opposite one was available, so fine. We switched it up a little bit, no problem. All right, fun show. Except on Islander, we got to take pictures with the cast, right? I think so. Let me, <laughs> now I'm gonna have to go and check because where was that? Or was that on MSC Magnifica? All right, hold on. Yes, after the show, the cast came out in costume and took pictures with the guests. So what's up with that, Team Paradise? That was my thumbnail. So now what am I supposed to do? 